All right, gamers, it's time to press your luck with Las Vegas. Let's check it out. In the game, setup is very easy. You're going to put out these little place boards, one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are all the casinos. You're going to have a stack of money that's in different set of bills, ranging from like $10,000 all the way up to $90,000 uh, there. You're going to put that stack right there. And then you're going to give everyone a handful of co uh, dice that are in their color. Now, I'm going to play with a three player game. I'm going to play like with red blue and green but you can also play up to five players and the other two colors would be black and white so for setup what you're going to do is you're going to take these cards and you're going to place them down on each casino and you're going to stop when you get to 50 or above so i flip over this one it's 10,000. i keep going flip it over again 70,000. okay i stop there because that's now over 50. And then I keep going for each one. That's exactly 50, so that stays 50 there. So what each player is going to do on their turn is they're going to grab all their die and they're going to roll them. They're going to roll all their die. And as you see here, I got two twos, well, three twos, a five, a four, a three, and a one. Now, I can take any of those that are of the same number and apply them to that uh, matching casino where the pips are on the number. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I see the biggest one right now is one, but I only rolled one one. Of course, there I rolled three twos. There's only $50,000 there. There's 60 here on five, but I only rolled one five. E, you know what? I'll go for the sure victory. Let's put three of my dice on two. Now, everyone's rolling their dice at the same time. Whoops, I forgot to roll this one. It's a one. Oh, okay. Hold on. I had two ones. I'm going to go for that one. All right. So everyone's rolling the dice at the same time here. So let's say blue had rolled their die now. And blue rolls all their die. And they have ones, twos, fours. They have three fours. And they have a six. Ugh. You know what? I don't know what they want to do. They're going to go for ones, two. All right. And then they pull out. And then it's green's turn. And green, uh, green has already rolled all their die. They rolled two ones. But they rolled a few sixes, they're gonna put it on sixes, okay? Well now, the game's gonna go again where everyone's gonna roll one more time. So red would roll, gr blue would roll, <laughs> green would roll all at the same time, and then they place their dice out however they want. Let's say that this was the last die green had, and green place that in two, the last die has to go wherever it's rolled, regardless where you like it or not. Now at this point, you would score each casino and see who won. Now, in the case of a tie, no one would win. And so that jackpot would stay there. So there's a tie there. These are bad examples. Okay, if there's no one there, no one would win. But in three, red beats blue, red would take the $50,000. Over here, green beat red, they would take $60,000. And over in this big battle, green won out there. And so green's going to get $60,000. And so then you'll go back refill all the casinos, roll your dice again, and keep playing. After four rounds, the person with the most money wins. Now, it's a very simple game. That's the base game. Let me talk to you about the expansions. The expansion is called Vegas Boulevard, and Vegas Boulevard comes with a lot of things. It comes with three new different colored die. And so instead of playing with five players, you can play up to eight. There's even an alternate version in the game where you can just break up the purple and everyone have two purple on them and purple count as kicker dice. So for instance, if blue was here on two and green rolled a two and their purple die was a two, what they would do is they put their green die there and use their purple die to kick out the blue player. Now the purple die goes away, they don't get it, green player doesn't get it back, but blue player gets their die back and they have to re-roll. That's just an alternate version in the game. The game also comes with these bigger die, and as you see, they got black pips in them as opposed to the white there, except for black, it's still white there. But they're obviously bigger die in your hand. You can roll uh, the one with your color with your die. And what this does is that in the case, you saw we had so many ties there. Let's say, let's go again here. Let's say there is a, a two-way tie right there for six, and but the uh, blue player had their big die on there. 
If they had their big die on there and green had two small die on there, the blue player is going to win in a tie because one of their die, die is the big die. So that's another thing that you get in the expansion. Uh, you also get, uh, used to be a mini expansion, like a little promo card in the game, but they actually put it in the second expansion. It's a slot machine. It works just like a casino. You would put up to $50 on it. So there's 40 there's 20 And what happens is every round players are running, let's say, if you saw earlier, Red really had enough ones. And he found out at the end of the game, no one else is going for ones. Maybe he has four ones on that. So he's going to win. Everyone else is spread open. Well, his last roll is maybe two more ones. Well, it's ridiculous for him to keep putting it on here because he knows he's already won ones. So what he's going to do, he's just going to put them over here on the slot machine as long as they're the same number there, the same type there. So ones. Once he does that, no one else can put ones on that card. So let's say uh, blue rolled and they rolled two sixes. Okay, now no one can put ones or sixes on the card. And green had a roll and they put their four there because they didn't know where else to put it. Well, during the at the end of the round, whoever has the most colored die of that one number on there, doesn't matter if it's a six or a one, if this if red had three ones on there, they would win the pot there. And that's kind of how the jackpot goes, uh, the slot machine. Another cool expansion they have is this one, where you uh, shuffle these cards, give them out to each player for each round. What they're going to have is they're going to have a neutral die. So you know, let's say there's no players playing gray. Everyone's going to get a gray die, and they're going to start it at one. And what they're going to do is, the games, as the game goes on, they're going to get these cards secretly, and they're going to secretly look at it. So if I shuffle around and I picked one of these cards, and it was a 40,000. Okay, that means at the end of this round, if I pick up a denomination that is a $40,000 uh, bill, then I get to move one pip on my die up one. And you want to do this because at the end of the game and the end of each round, you're going to be getting new cards. You're going to shuffle out and deal out more cards to every player. And at the end of the game, whatever your pip is up to, you're going to multiply that times 50,000 and you're going to get that much extra cash from the house. So it's just another alternate way you can play the game. They also have another mini expansion where you would, uh, again, dole these cards out every round of players. And what they do is they give you secret uh, abilities in the game. Now, the English is right here in the middle. If you, I keep looking at the top and going, man, none of these are written in English. But in the middle, they're written in English. And it's basically just special things you can do in the game. And it'll tell you while scoring, when playing die, after placing die. It'll tell you when you can play it. So you'll keep these hidden and then reveal them when the time comes to play your secret ability. Other things the game comes with is $100,000 notes that just look just like the backs of the regular cards there. And then, of course, these wild cards, which again look like the backs of the cards from the regular deck. What happens is, if you were to deal out a wild card, then that card... When someone wins this, they're going to take the top card from the deck, and that's what this card is going to represent. Because it could be anything from a $10,000 bill to a $100,000 bill. You never know. Ooh, $80,000. I really lucked out there. So that's what the wild cards are in there for. Finally, they do have this little player aid that says, hey, instead of $50,000, if you're playing with two players, each one has $30,000. Or if you're playing with eight players, make sure each stack has at least $90,000 in it. So it just kind of plays the game to scale. And that is Las Vegas Boulevard. Final thoughts. What do I think about the game? It's great. It's an awesome game. It's a spectacular game. If you were to get nothing but the base game, you would have enough replayability forever. I love this game. I actually got this. I tried it at BGG Con. It was just a filler, like a throwaway game. Just something I knew we could play real quick and then, you know, while we're waiting for another game. Ooh, caught me by surprise. I made note of this. This is actually one of the better games I played at BGG Con. It is so much fun. All you're doing is throwing them dice, putting them on the board, and hopefully winning the big bucks. I, simple. But very, very fun. Now, do you need the expansion? No, not really. The expansion costs like almost double the amount of the base game right now. So I don't know if it's worth tracking down and getting the expansion. However, the expansion does have some really nice things in it. I mean, when you think about the slot machine, that's pretty fun. I'd probably always play with that. I'll always put the wild card 
you know, money uh, cards in there, as well as the $100,000 cards. I would play the game to scale, as suggested on that purple card. Um, I love the fact that it comes with more dice. Because, man, I, I, would, I love having games that can fit eight players, seven, eight players. I try to keep my board game groups to f between four and six, but sometimes I get seven or eight. And I don't have that many games that can accommodate seven or eight. Well, now, guess what? My go-to game for that. Uh, I also like, uh, from the expansion, the idea of having the purple dice boot the other dice out. That's kind of cool. Haven't played with that uh uh, version yet, but it seems like fun. Also, with the bigger die, those are really fun because, man, there's going to be a lot of ties in this game, but if you have one of the big dies on there, you win all ties. That is very strategic. Uh, the other cards where you get special abilities, we haven't played with those yet. I would play with them maybe once or twice. The cards where you're trying to get a particular bill on that round, and if you do, your die goes up. Very fun. So all the little mini versions of Las Vegas that Boulevard gives you are worth it. So if you want to chuck out the 40, 45 bucks for the expansion, go for it. Because overall, it is very nice. But again, you do not need the expansion to enjoy this game. The base game is good enough and you can get the base game for a very, very decent price online. All right, gamers, that is all the time I have for now. Until next time, roll on.